Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we're going to take a look at Pinpoint APRS software. Uh, this is software that you can run on a laptop or your home PC that enables you to receive and send APRS data with the TNC or sound modem and a radio. It also will allow you to do APRS IS, which is over the internet, um, providing that you get a passcode. Anyway, uh, the software we're going to show you is free. Um, it is uh, donationware, so I encourage you, if you are blessed, that you should go ahead and uh, give them a donation. With that, let's go. Oh, yeah, subscribe. Yeah, it, the XYL gets mad if I don't ask. So, if you can, and if you want to, click on the subscribe button. And if you click on the notification bell, you'll get notified of new videos when they come out. Also, hey, if you like this video or any of my other videos, please click like. All right, that really helps me out and it draws more people into the channel, okay? Uh, with that, let's get on with Apers on Pinpoint Software. Well, okay, this is Stu AG6AG. Let's kind of get started on looking at Pinpoint software for APRS. Um, the cool part about Pinpoint software is it's really easy to use. Uh, it's reasonably easy to set up. Some prerequisites you're going to want to do just to keep the platform in the right state of mind here is you're going to want to make sure that you have sound modem or a TNC or something hooked to your computer. Um, or, of course, you could do it completely on the internet uh, if you so chose. The uh, only issue is to do it completely on the internet or to do it on the internet at all, uh, you're going to have to get a passcode. It's fairly simple. It's actually just a hash of your call sign. Uh, so it's not that complicated. Uh, you can go up. There's online sites that will generate it automatically. Not a big deal. But for our particular um, video here, we're going to install it, and we are going to set it up to work on sound modem. Now, if you haven't set sound modem up yet, I have another video on that. So go to my channel and search for sound modem, and I have a walkthrough on how to get that all set up. As a matter of fact, I have walkthroughs on how to properly set the audio levels and everything else. And of course, if you own a TNC and it's hooked to a radio, then more power to you. You can just configure that TNC uh, operationally to talk to Pinpoint. So, Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to launch my browser, and I am going to search for pinpoint space APRS. Hopefully, if you're using Google and you don't have any weird uh, search engine bugs, uh, it's going to be the top item, and it's www.pinpointaprs.com. Um, we can go directly to the download, but I do want to show you the page. Uh, these guys do a really nice job. They, uh, they keep ahead of the stuff with it. There are a couple other programs that are out there uh, that I think might be a little bit more um, complicated to set up and use, but you know your mileage may vary on any of these. Um, now, let's go ahead. This is free software. I'm going to click on download over here. I'm going to select download, and it's going to download a uh, zip file down here in the corner, and I'm just going to open it up, and I'm actually going to extract this. I'll click on extract up here, and I'll say extract all. This is going to extract it out under my downloads directory, so pay attention to where this, go this is going, and also you can tell it to show the extracted files when it's complete, and I recommend that you do that. So now it's popped this up, and now I have an installer and a setup. I tend to use the setup program because it's going to go and check some other prereqs and stuff like that. So basically it just tells me that, hey, the installer is going to walk you through this. I click OK. I'm going to take the default 
because I always do. That way there's never any question in my mind where it is when I'm talking to people about it. And uh, I'm going to say it's for everyone. And it just says next to go ahead and install. And it says, are you sure you want to do this? Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. All right. And that's it, man. It is installed. So let's go ahead and close all this stuff down. Now, there is some place here a uh, actual how-to. And I, I think I found it on the Internet. But the reality of it is that this is really pretty easy software, and most amateur radio operators don't really read the instructions. Hi, hi. But uh, if you want to, do a search on a uh, quick start for Pinpoint. Let's go ahead. I'm going to double-click on it and give you my quick start for Pinpoint. It's going to make sure I accept the license. I recommend that you read every bit of this and take it into consideration as I don't read a bit of it and click accept. And it says, basically, time to get started. When the options menu appear, you have a minimum of your call sign, everything else you need to set to your personal situation. Please read the enclosed pinpoint quick start information guide. Uh, and Make a donation, please. So, um, oh, well, that answered an interesting question. That means that if I, I think, if I go to... Is it the install directory? Is that where it is? Well, let's look on downloads first where I unzip this. And there it is, right there, pinpoint quick start. Well, silly me. So I can actually open this up and, uh, you know, take a look and go through uh, all the quick start information, which eh, they got enough to get it going. Let me give you, like I said, my quick version of it. Uh, I need to put in a call plus the SSID. I'm just going to go, let's see, AG6, AG, I'll do dash 11. And uh, my path wide 1 uh, dash 1 and wide 2 dash 1 is fine with me. My position report is, uh, let's see, uh, for, we'll just put for video training. And I can create or click or find any station thing that I actually want here. Uh, kind of just bounce through it. Um, call it a house. Snowmobile. There's lots of cool stuff here. Yeah, I'll just kind of run through all this and uh, see what I can find. And you can use these also as indications of what's actually, uh, you know, at your location. Let's see that, say, I'll just use this. Let's say that you are uh, at a net control station. You can use that, okay? Something like a picture of an event or something like that. There's tons of them in here. I encourage you to take a look. I am not going to enable the Digipeter because it only works if I'm uh, using a non-KISS TNC. And, of course... Uh, sound modem is a KISS TNC. I'll go ahead and enable beaconing. Why not? And uh, you know what? I'm not. I don't need to beacon. Why? Well, because I'm a stationary object. So I should be able to just program that stuff in. Let's take a look at our TNC. And we're going to do this for sound modem. So uh, we are going to go down here. And sound modem, uh, sound modem is a network KISS mode, uh, mode modem. And normally, I'd be connecting to local hosts, but I'm actually hooking to a remote sound modem. And I have in my uh, uh, oh, uh, video for saying sound modem up that the KISS port is 8100. Now, this defaults to 8001, uh, so you're going to need to change this. I am going to need to actually give this a IP address to make it work. All right. And then for my GPS, uh, you know what? I do have a GPS, but it's not connected to this machine, so I'm just going to skip this. But normally, you could select your COM port and your speed and all that good stuff and get it all set up to make it work. Uh, my map, I have lots of choices here. So uh, I can only show uh, call signs and tool tips with a mouse over. I think I'll show the call sign uh, and tool tips all the time. Uh, let's see. This is actually pretty cool, and I'm going to show this to you once we get some data in here. Only show stations in space separated list below. And I'll show you how to populate that. It's kind of cool. 
Um, we don't need to show my position on the map. Uh, let's see. I uh, uh, double. Uh, I'm just looking. Most of this is pretty much where I want it. Um, great. Okay. And let's go ahead. Uh, APRS IS, if I wanted to enable it, I could put this in in the passcode that is the hash that you can get on the internet. I'm not going to do that. And of course, miscellaneous, uh, I'm going to shut off APRS automatic answer. Uh, I'm fine with the auto remove. Uh, let's see. This looks good. So let's click OK. And it's going to launch Pinpoint. Now, I haven't told it, and of course, I told it to check for updates so it looks. Now, I have not told it, okay, anything about where I am, and I did not tell it to automatically connect to my APRS, right? So, I'm going to go to Tools here, and I'm going to say, all right, so we're going to connect to my TNC. And down here, I can see that I have a network connection on my TNC. Now, I just have to wait for someone to broadcast information, so... Oh, there we go. I've got someone. <clears throat> but this map isn't even close to where I want to be, so I'm going to open up my radio reports. I've got two position reports. Let's center on this guy right here. I can right-click and say center map, and there we go. All right, my map centered. We can zoom in, get a little bit closer, start to get some street names and stuff like that. He's definitely up in the canyons up there, up north of 33. Uh, let's see, who else do we have there? How about this guy? Let's center on him. Ah, he's down in Oxnard, right? And of course, I can back this out to get a more complete picture of the county. Now, what else can I do with this, right? Well, I can go and hover and then I can click on it. It's going to show me all the information, right? I can also, let's say I want to add him to my filter. Did you see how I did that? So that means that I can now go back into tools, go into options. It's going to say, hey, you know, uh, some of this stuff will not take effect without restarting. That's okay. If I click OK and I go over to uh, Map, notice it, it added him to that filter. I'm going to click that and click OK. Now I have to close, and I've got to restart. And, of course, I'm not set up to automatically connect to my TNC, so I am going to connect to the TNC. And, of course, now we need to wait for a signal. All right. Now, let's see. And remember, we're running a filter for this guy right here. So what I can do is I can center the map on him. You notice nobody else is there, even though down here we've receive some other signals. So if I was doing an event, I would ignore everybody but the choices that I make of people that are out in that event. SAG vehicles, bicyclists, stuff like that. Um, and again, you know, this is reasonably simple to set up. Uh, you can read the quick start, but I think I've given you enough just to make this happen. Oh, and as well, I mean, let me touch on a couple of the features here. Um, I can actually right-click this, and I could send this guy a message, right? Whatever I want, just saying hi, you know, and then send it on off, and away it goes. We're not going to do that. Anyway, if you have any questions or want to learn any more on this, click uh, uh, the uh, comments down below and add your questions there. I'll try to get them answered as quickly as possible. Uh, and we're going to try to do an additional video, shows you how to interface with sound modem, believe it or not, hooked to an SD or a, a RTL SDR. 
So that's going to be coming up. But for now, hey, enjoy Pinpoint, will you? This is Stu, AG6AG. Well, there you go. Hey, I can't wait to do the video where I show you how to use a uh, uh, RTL-SDR to interface with sound modem and be able to go out there with a $20 dongle and receive this APERS information out in the field. I mean, think of it this way. You're not powering a transceiver. It really might save battery power and everything else for you, um, especially for events. And I really believe that this software is really great for events. It's simple to use, doesn't take a lot of training. And again, um, if you don't broadcast, you can have anyone sitting at that console giving you tracking information for your SAGs or your bikes or uh, whatever else you might have out there. Anyway, hey, thanks for joining me for the video. If you liked it, click like. If you haven't yet, click subscribe. We love subscribers. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, go ahead and make them down in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. So, hey, my name is Stu, AG6AG, and I want to say 73 to everybody and hope to hear you out there on the air.